Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Sleepless Ninja and today we're going to connect a PlayStation controller to the Zoom. Um, what we're going to need to do this is of course the OTG cable. Um, your Android device needs to be running Honeycomb 3.1 but you do not need just a, a Zoom. You can use any Honeycomb device running 3.1. And this is just a basic PlayStation controller. Um, that came with the PS3. Yes, it is a Bluetooth controller. However, we will be communicating using the on-the-go cord, and it's just the standard USB um, to USB mini. Um, this is the cord that comes with your PlayStation, and you would use to charge the controller. One of the things that the PlayStation controller does, and you can even do this on your PC if you have PC emulators, or you want to use the gamepad on your PC using software, the PlayStation controller, when connected, actually sends the controls over the USB. Contrary to users that are probably familiar with the Xbox, where if you were to plug your wireless Xbox controller in, it would not do so without the right tethering adapter. So, this, even though blinking, is now connected. And you can see if I was moving the gamepad, I can sort of navigate. It's not that great, really. The, to use the gamepad to navigate through your screen, at least the way that I have set up, it's not that useful. What you need to really use this for, and why you're probably going to connect it, is for gaming. Now, I tried this on a couple just games on the Zoom, and no, it's just not plug and, plug and play. Um, the developer has to allow um, that type of customization with the controller. So the games that this is going to work right off the bat with, of course, are games that you can key map. So, um, and the best types of games for key mapping, of course, are emulators. So if we were to um, set up into Star Fox, for instance, um, what we're going to do now is go into the options. This is the N64 OID um, emulator. Um, you can read my latest article on how to obtain this. Um, it is not available in the Android market. We are going to go into input settings. Um, we're going to go to selecting that we do want the um, not want the virtual keypad, um, but we want to map the key, the keys. So I kind of want you to see both at the same time, um, without. So hopefully I can zoom out and somewhat show you this without too much interference. Sorry for the quality, but I want the lighting for the best that I can. So on the top one it says analog left. All right. So all you have to do is click on that and it says press hardware key. So all you have to do is move left. And there you go. It registers it. Analog right, right. Analog up, up. Analog down, down. And then you have the D-pad, you have the C left, right, up, down, start, start button. Um, button A will be the X for now, button B will be B, L trigger will be the first one. Uh, Z trigger will make L2, R trigger. Okay, and so there we go. That's basics. I'm not going to do all the key mapping. Just you get the understanding. You do this for any kind of controller. It does not have to just be the PS. And you can see, press start, go start now. I can navigate using both the up and down and the analog. And I can go into the main game. I can turn on the sound. I can use start to skip through, X to select, and basically, have all that functionality for a game that you would expect on a controller, just using basic key mapping. And that's the way you're going to be able to take advantage of the PlayStation or Xbox controller that you hook up into your Zoom. You also can use basic game pads. Um, I just changed the volume and stops the emulator. That's what you just saw. You can see this has a lot of potential. 
um, for all your emulators. Um, hooking a Wii controller, you can hook it up using Bluetooth. I have a video for that if you're interested in that. Sorry, just can't forward through this intro video, and I've run out of things to say. So I'll just uh, ninja speed through this. And you can see... Of course, I, I'm not an inverse analog person, so I'm having a little trouble. But all the controls are there. And you can play and do everything that you normally would do. Beat bombs, everything. This works well with the PlayStation emulator, any PlayStation, any emulator. If you can key map on any of the games available on the Android platform, you will be able to take advantage of your peripheral controller. Um, I don't have an, a, a wired Xbox controller or that adapter for the wireless on me. If you're interested, that adapter for the wireless controller, it's like 20 bucks, does work. Um, I, my friends confirmed it, and if I go over their house and borrow it for a moment, I will uh, show you as video proof. But, as you can see, the um, Sony PlayStation controller works really well, and uh, it's a nice lightweight um, way to uh, use a controller on the Honeycomb platform, and again, if you want, you can also hook up your Wii controller using the Bluetooth guide. It's all there on my site. Um, so again, thank you for watching. I hope this was useful and beneficial to you. Um, please uh, let me know if you have any additional questions or concerns. Um, I just want to point out one more thing. While we we're talking about my site, I did a little renovation for you to help ease um, questions. Um, a, lo a lot of questions are asked about my interface a lot, games, um, routing, and so I made all my articles and put them in a one-click spot. We have now gaming, how to en enhance your user interface, routing your Zoom, all right there for you. You click on it, and what will happen is you'll be brought now to a page that's just dedicated to all those at articles and videos that I made for that particular topic. So, definitely check that out if you have any questions. Um, and this page will be sure to be filled with all the information if you haven't already seen it on how to um, route um, different games, setting up emulators, um, customizing your user interface. It's all here and it's right at your fingertips in a nice uh, organized manner. Thank you so much everyone for viewing. As always it's a pleasure and have a wonderful day.